In a follow-up, a 10-year-old Peoria boy is dead after a hit-and-run crash Tuesday night. The Peoria County Coroner says Troy Irving was declared brain dead at 8.15 this morning and is now the city's 31st homicide. Irving's mother says her son was on his way home from a friend's house when a car hit him on Northeast Glen Oak Avenue and sped off. After two days of testing, Irving's reflexes, breathing, and one cerebral blood flow test, the family said Irving was declared brain dead yesterday. But the coroner says medics couldn't officially make that determination until they completed two cerebral blood flow tests. We have to have two tests separate apart that are both negative because if by uh, the days pass following the trauma or surgical intervention, that brain swelling can go down and change the results of the second test where the brain death now can't be declared. Police say 43-year-old Carrie Brunswick was the driver that hit Irving. Records show she has a long list of prior traffic violations. She's in the Peoria County Jail and has a $1 million bond for leaving the scene of an accident with injury or death. Her next court appearance is November 18th. The family has created a GoFundMe for Irving. You can find that link on our website, ciproud.com.